Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, on this channel we talk about law of attraction, spiritual development, and now apparently boobs. But of course, also making you believe that all things are possible one step at a time. So this video is for my breasties. Anyone that is explaining, going to explant, did explant, don't know what is going on, want to know more information, um, trying to search more videos for um, what possibly might come for them. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do for everyone at this point. I'm also doing it for myself because it is kind of therapeutic. It helps me get out any type of just chaoticness that's going on in my head about the whole situation. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So I am just a little over three months now. The last time I posted, I was seven weeks post-op. Um, so I am, I think I'm going to just kind of do like monthly videos on what I'm looking like, how I'm feeling. Um, but one thing that I wanted to touch base on because it was such a low point for me, um, was last weekend, I decided to go out. Um, it was my first time going out since the explant and obviously getting dressed up, um, I struggled a lot. I got very, very down on myself. Um, it was just like a reality check um, that I did have the boobs out. Um, it was more of a visual thing for me because I was so used to seeing the boobs there. And then when you're trying to put on something sexy, we'll say, uh, it just doesn't look right to you because we have this image in our head that if there's no boobs, no sexy. And yeah, so the first night I went out, it was a little hard. Second night I went out, um, it was just fucking difficult. Like it was really difficult and I really tried holding back my tears, but it just, they just kept pouring out because... I, it, there was just so many emotions. It was whether I, you know, damaged my body by putting something in there or that I'm flat because my insecurities are coming out because I don't have the boobs anymore. And this is a lot on our mental health. Um, anyone that is going through this process knows. I'm not gonna sit here and make every video about removing my implants that I'm this happy, positive person and super confident in my flat chest. It takes, it's going to be hard work. It's gonna take a lot of time. Um, and you know i'm sitting at three months right now and that's still so early to you know really really accept myself for everything that i'm going through um so i went through all that this weekend and i i honestly got a little down on myself for getting that upset um and then later realizing the only reason why I was upset is because when you go out, yes, you dress up for yourself, you get ready for yourself, you feel good for yourself, but you know that you're going out and you're going to get attention from someone. And that was weighing heavy on me because I kept repeating over and over, like, what are people going to think of me? Oh, she has a boy chest. Why is she wearing that? That doesn't look good. Oh, I want that girl over there with the boobs. Like... It's like not there, but it's there. And it's just replaying over and over and over in your head. And that's why we get upset. We get so down on ourselves about how we look because of other people's opinions. If we wipe that away, and if we stop comparing ourselves, you become the most beautiful person you can ever imagine. Because then we're focusing solely on ourselves and then we're really grateful for the things that we have for ourselves. Like, I can get so down on myself about my boobs. And not only that, I'm left with some deformity, um, my muscle detached from my healing process. So um, when I do flex, my, uh, my muscle lifts up and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, but I sit here with these deformities from a choice that I made to change and alter my original anatomy body. And I sit here and I can be so sad, so ungrateful, um, when there's people out there that have it way worse than me. And it's not even just removing the implants. Like, 
yes, women do have it worse than me from removing their implants, but people were born with, we'll say quote unquote deformities, but honestly, in my opinion, I think they're just unique. I think everyone is different in their own ways and I don't think anything is really a deformity. I think it's just uniqueness. Um, but I can sit here and be so ungrateful for what I chose to do to my body and why it's altered the way it is now um, when people have it worse. And that's what I'm trying to like stay focused on. But yeah, so overall, we can feel so powerful and so confident in the way that we look as is if we stop comparing ourselves and if we stop thinking about what other people are thinking of us. I know it seems so simple, right? Like, oh, that's all I have to do. It takes a lot of fucking hard work to get your mind into that right mindset to be like, yeah, that I'm not, I don't care. And you know what? It's something that I need to work on. But now, now life is really challenging me. So I, you know, I got really down on myself the second night I went out because I put on this dress that I got and I fucking love this dress. When I tried it on at the, um, I'm sorry if the sun's gonna start blinding me, but um, I put it on at the the store and I felt so good. Like I felt so confident myself. And I was happy that I found something that I can feel good in. And then when it came to actually going out and pleasing people, I got so down on myself. It's like I was just trash at that point. And it just, it mind blows me on like the difference of where your mind can be with different situations. Um, but I don't want you to think that you can't wear anything because you don't have the boobs. Like I put this, um, it's a onesie. I put this onesie on right now um, just to prove that like, just because I don't have boobs doesn't mean I can't wear something. And I don't want anyone to ever tell you, or media, anyone, to tell you that you can't wear something because you're not chesty. Like, if anything, we can wear a lot more. And that's why I want to start um, doing these videos of women with flat chests and what we can do and how we can wear certain clothes to make us feel confident in ourselves. Um, and yeah, and just in just showing you all the different types of clothing that we can wear to do that. Now I sit here and I think about, I, um, you know, I was journaling this morning and I just started writing down like when, when did it start that I was just always judging myself and always criticizing myself and always comparing myself and I brought it back to just, I was so young, like elementary school. Like I started judging myself. I started hating myself. I started hating the body that I'm in because I didn't look like anyone else. It just, it, it just mind blows me. Like I'm done. I'm done hating myself. And if it takes like removing the implants and getting certain deformities on myself to come to that conclusion, then great. I'm just, I'm over it. And I hope that you're over it too. We owe it to ourselves to start being kind and just start being so nice to ourselves, like saying kind things to ourselves. Like what, when's the last time you did that? You know, I started this when I had the implants and I would stand in front of a mirror, butt naked. And I would just constantly tell myself over and over and over, I love you. I love you. And I would look at everything that I had an issue with and say, I love you. I love you. And it really does something for you because you're accepting yourself fully for exactly who you are. And if we can keep that mindset going, like that's, that's what's important. That's what means the most. Now, if you have been following me on all my other videos, um, I'll try to link some in the description, but if you just click on my, my name, um, it will take you to my YouTube page. Um, I do have a couple videos going on about my healing process. As an update for my last video with the way I look, um, not much has changed a tiny bit, 
uh, I think when I said my seven weeks, I started training upper body finally, like chest. Um, I'm still doing that. It still feels great. Um, and I, I've noticed that I've been building a little bit, so I'm super bony. Like, I just don't get, like, it mind blows me that if I gain any type of weight, and I don't gain weight, like, at all, but if I did, it's definitely not coming here. Um, but I upped my calories to 25 to 3,000 a day. Um, and I try to stay very consistent on that as much as I can. If not, I hope I'm just like eating something. Um, but that shows how hard it is for me to gain weight and I'm still not gaining weight from that. Um, I stopped being vegan. I started eating meat again because my healing just wasn't working for me. I wasn't getting enough protein. Um, the vitamins just weren't coming in and yeah, so so I'm starting to fill out a little bit, building that muscle back up a little bit. And like I said, I have that deformity. So if I keep training chest, I don't know if like that muscle is going to start just shifting and staying. And then I'll have like this hollowed out section right here. So this is me right now. Um, super small. This is my smallest side. So what I want to show you, because I didn't even show in my last one, but since I'm wearing this shirt, I can show you if I flex, you can see that my muscle lifts over here and it should be down here. Um, not that you can like really tell I have like a small, I have a small indent um, from where that's at, but I have to keep in mind that before I got the implants, I had years and years and years, like almost 10 years of training chest and muscle buildup. And then when I had the implants for almost three years, I did not touch my chest at all. I didn't want anything to go wrong, which <laughs> funny it did. You know, one was in, well, one was ruptured and I didn't, I wasn't even training chest. I wasn't doing anything that I can possibly do to rupture anything. So I'm trying to keep that in mind that I had so many years of build up muscle that I was training for so long that it's just going to take time. Um, everyone's body is different. I do not know how anyone else is going to um, develop or heal. Um, if you didn't watch any of my other videos, just an update of what I did have um, naturally, I am an A, double A, I don't even know, maybe negative A. I got 325 CC, moderate profile, I think smooth texture under the muscle. And then got them out and honestly, I am pretty much back to my original anatomy, except for the muscle slipping um, because he did put me back in place. Hopefully, he said he did. You know, I was asleep. I don't really know. I can only go by what he says. Um, but yeah, apparently that one slipped. So I'm back to where I was at. You know, I'm small. I'm very small. I just really don't want that to be an issue for me for the rest of my life. And thinking that I'm not good enough, thinking that I can't get um, into a good relationship without <laughs> A set of boobs are you kidding me like that's where my mind goes it's like is anyone gonna love me for my flat chest come on come on if anything you can just walk around and be like yeah I'm a model skinny no boobs I'm a model <laughs> and then it's accepting right it's funny I said this to my sister the other day like if anyone has an issue which people comment on my weight all the time can't I just I don't understand where people have a place of where they think that they can say things about people's bodies um which is why I don't judge I cannot I physically cannot judge anyone anymore <clears throat> it it hurts me and if I if you if you're gonna say something and you knew that person was gonna overhear you and they would have felt bad and then you felt bad just don't say it right there's just no point but it's just funny because people coming on my wait, holy crap, the sun is just the sun is blinding, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but people coming on my weight all the time and now that I have a flat chest, there's just like not much going on. 
and it's funny because if someone said you're so skinny and if I was like oh I'm a model they'll be like oh okay it's like then it's okay then it's accepting because you're a model like the way people's brains work I just don't understand don't understand well I should probably go because the sun is directly in my face right now um, but that was my update about three months a little over three months I think healing process still going good chest workouts going great um, and it's just gonna take time but I will keep updating you I hope that you are getting something out of this video I hope it's helping you in some way if you did explant and you're only a couple weeks or you know whatever or if you are thinking about explanting I do not want this video to scare you I don't want any of my videos to scare you into not explanting please go follow some of these breast implant illness pages and see what these breast implants can do to you like uh, people have it so much worse and it's just it's insane and my heart goes out to them um, but don't neglect a thought that if you're sick or if you're having any type of health issues that it's not your implants our bodies are our healers and they take care of us and if our body cannot fight off some sickness that we cannot figure out and doctors for some reason our test results come back fine still mind-blowing to me I had a ruptured implant and my test results were coming back perfectly fine chemicals leaking in my body heavy metals yeah you're good you're good okay but don't neglect that there is something foreign in your body and that's that's just where that's that's the end of that <laughs> like there's something foreign in your body so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below i will get back to you i'm very open about just about anything um and i'm here to help i just feel like whenever i tried to reach out to someone i didn't have that um whenever i was trying to look for something i didn't have that so i wanted to be that person for you um, so please reach out if you have any questions. If you feel like you resonated with this video at all, please give it a thumbs up. If you feel like anyone needs to hear this video, please share it. It's just going to help me and get my word across and just get everyone onto this train of just self-love. So until my next updated video, I hope you stay true and namaste. Bye.